Hello, and welcome to a brand new lesson of learning the Arabic language on Salafi Talk. We will begin our lesson today with a new vocabulary for the lesson. Let's get started. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our lesson today is all about the weather and describing the weather. So do you know how to describe the weather in Arabic? Do you know how to inquire concerning the various uh, weather, uh, the climate conditions and the seasons of the year and so on in Arabic? That's what we will be focusing on in this lesson. So we have some pivotal new vocabulary and then we'll have a bunch of practice dialogues uh, that will be very helpful in you being able to hold a conversation with someone pertaining to the weather and inquiring about the weather conditions. So the first word that we will begin with is the word weather itself. So the words jaw and box. These are two separate words. Jaw and box. Both of them mean weather in Arabic. Okay? Jaw. 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 Box. 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 So you can either use the word jaw or you can use the word box. Both of them carry the same meaning and you can use them interchangeably as you wish. Alrighty, now we have the word season and it's plural. Seasons. Similarly to the word Weather in Arabic, which can be said in two different ways, jaw and box, and the word season can also be said in two different ways. The first way to say it is to say fossil, fossil, fossil. The second way to say it is to say mausim, mausim, mausim. Right, but this is the singular form. So how do I say seasons? The plural of fossil is Fusul, fusul, fusul. So fusul means seasons. And again, the other way, the mausim also means season, but the plural of mausim is mawasim, mawasim, mawasim. Next up is the word har, which means hot. Har, har. Something is very har. Something is very hot. Har. 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 Barid. The word barid means cold. Something is barid. Something is cold. Barid. 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 Ratb. The word ratb means humid ratb 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 ghaim ghaim means cloudy look at the sky it's so ghaim ghaim cloudy ghaim 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 asif the word asif can mean windy and it can also mean stormy it means both stormy and windy. Asif. 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 Alright, now we have the word rainy. And rainy can be said in two different ways as well. The first way is mumtir. And the second way is matir. Mumtir. 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 And it can also be said as matir. 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 Now we have the word Mu'tadil. Mu'tadil means moderate or temperate. In relation to weather, it means like temperate weather. So the weather is mild. So moderate, temperate, slash mild weather can be referred to as Mu'tadil. 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 Mushmis. Mushmis means sunny. So if the weather is sunny, you can say mushmis. 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 Safi. The word safi means clear. Safi. Safi. 
Safi. Now we have the word Balad, which means country. Balad means country. Balad. 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 The plural of Balad can be said in two ways. Number one, Bilad. 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 And the second way to say countries is to say Buldan. 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 Alright, now we have the word Alyaum, which we mentioned before. We introduced it before in the previous lessons, but we're mentioning it here again because it's relevant and for the purposes of review. So Alyaum means today. Alyaum. 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 Again, we have the word ams, which means yesterday. Ams, ams, ams. Radan, radan means tomorrow. Radan, 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 radan. Now we have an important word, which is khabir al-arsad al which means weatherman. خبير الأرصاد الجوية. خبير الأرصاد الجوية. خبير الأرصاد الجوية. Here now we have the word sky and it's plural skies. So just to just say the word sky, you say سماء سماء سماء. To say the sky, you have to say السماء 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 to say skies you say سماوات 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 to say the skies you say السماوات 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 so again سماء السماء سماوات السماوات now we have a beautiful قوس قزح A beautiful rainbow So how do we say rainbow in Arabic? We say قوس قزح قوس قزح قوس قزح Alrighty, so all of the new vocabulary that we've just learned are extremely important for you to know. They are essential vocabulary that are a must know as it relates to conversing about weather and understanding conversations that take place pertaining to the weather. So for the remainder of the lesson, what the, the agenda is, firstly, we're going to learn how to inquire about the weather today. So how to ask about the weather conditions today. Um, and we will learn about the seasons of the year. And then we're going to have a bunch of practice dialogues, which are going to be so helpful in for you to construct questions pertaining to the weather and for you to be able to answer questions that are posed pertaining to the weather conditions in your country. Alrighty? So to ask the question, how is the weather today? We say or we ask, كيف الجو اليوم? كيف الجو اليوم? كيف الجو اليوم? How is the weather today? كيف الجو اليوم؟ الجو اليوم جميل جدا. The weather today is very beautiful. الجو اليوم جميل جدا. Already now we have a short reading exercise to test your reading comprehension. So as I'm reading, try and read along with me and try and discern the, me the meanings of what's being read. So let's get started. هذه مريم هي كندية وهي مدرسة في معهد اللغة العربية اليوم هي في منزلها الطقس أو الجو بارد جدا Okay, so did you understand what was read without having had looked at the translation? So هذه مريم This is مريم هي كندية She is Canadian وهي مدرسة في معهد اللغة العربية and she is a teacher in an Arabic language institute معهد, the, the word معهد means institute in Arabic 
اليوم هي في منزلها. Today she is in her house. الطقس أو الجو the weather بارد جدا is very cold. Alright, now we're gonna get into learning about the seasons of the year in Arabic. فصول السنة فصول السنة means seasons of the year. Okay, so we're gonna learn about فصول السنة the seasons of the year. So winter, summer, fall, spring. Right, we're gonna learn about فصول السنة the four seasons of the year. So فصول السنة it's also known as فصول الأربعة uh, the four seasons. Okay. First up, we have autumn. To say autumn, you have to say al-kharif. Al-kharif. Al-kharif means the autumn. Al-kharif. 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 Now we have the spring. Al-rabi'a. Al-rabi'a means the spring. Al-rabi'a. Al-rabi'a. الربيع الصيف means the summer الصيف 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 what's the summer? the summer is الصيف الصيف now we have the winter which is الشتاء there's an error on the screen it shouldn't say the autumn um, so there should be a picture of snowfall here and of the winter, but it appears to be an error. So, in any case, the winter is الشتاء 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 So الشتاء is winter. Alrighty, let's have a review of فصول السنة, the seasons of the year. فصول الأربعة the four seasons of the year are فصل الربيع When I say فصل الربيع that means the spring season Okay? But if I just say الربيع that means the spring الربيع means the spring and فصل الربيع means the spring season Okay? So فصل الربيع is the spring season فصل الصيف is the summer season فصل الصيف فصل الصيف the summer season فصل الخريف is the autumn season فصل الخريف فصل الخريف the autumn season and فصل الشتاء is the winter season فصل الشتاء the winter season فصل الشتاء the winter season okay Alrighty, so we're pretty much done with the new vocabulary for the lesson and we can move on to the practice dialogues. We're going to have a lot uh, and it's going to be super duper helpful. So if I were you, I would write all of this down in a notebook because the dialogues are going to be immensely helpful to you. Okay, so let's begin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, blessings and mercy of Allah, the Most High, be with you. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته and may the peace, mercy and blessings of Allah be with you too. ما هو اسمك? What is your name? ما هو اسمك? اسمي عباس. My name is عباس. اسمي عباس. ما هو اسمك? اسمي عباس. من أين أنت? أو or من أي بلد أنت which means where are you from من أين أنت من أين أنت means where are you from and من أي بلد أنت means which country are you from من أي بلد أنت يا عباس so عباس responds by saying أنا من كندا أنا من كندا I'm from Canada سررت بلقائك يا عباس Nice to meet you عباس سررت بلقائك يا عباس كيف هو الطقس في كندا خلال الصيف How's the weather in Canada during the summer كيف هو الطقس في كندا 
خلال الصيف يكون الطقس دافئا ومشمسا وجميلا في الصيف The weather is warm, sunny and beautiful in the summer Okay, so let's do that again سررت بلقائك يا عباس كيف هو الطقس في كندا خلال الصيف؟ يكون الطقس دافئا ومشمسا وجميلا في الصيف كيف هو الطقس في السعودية خلال الصيف؟ How's the weather in Saudi Arabia during the summer? كيف هو الطقس في السعودية خلال الصيف؟ الطقس حار جدا ومشمس The weather is very hot and sunny الطقس حار جدا ومشمس كيف هو الطقس في السعودية خلال الصيف؟ الطقس حار جدا ومشمس خبير الأرصاد الجوية قال إنها ستمطر اليوم The meteorologist or the weatherman said that it will rain today خبير الأرصاد الجوية قال إنها ستمطر اليوم الجو مشمس اليوم The weather is sunny today or it is sunny today Again خبير الأرصاد الجوية قال إنها ستمطر اليوم الجو مشمس اليوم كانت تمطر بالأمس It was rainy yesterday كانت تمطر بالأمس سيكون الجو باردا غدا It will be cold tomorrow سيكون الجو باردا غدا كانت تمطر بالأمس سيكون الجو باردا غدا سوف تثلج غدا It is going to snow tomorrow سوف تثلج غدا كيف هي حالة الجو أو الطقس اليوم؟ How's the weather today? كيف هي حالة الجو أو or الطقس اليوم؟ سوف تثلج غدا كيف هي حالة الجو أو الطقس اليوم؟ الطقس أو الجو جميل اليوم The weather today is beautiful or The weather is beautiful today الطقس أو الجو جميل اليوم الجو أو الطقس مشمس والسماء صافية It is sunny and the sky is clear So the weather is sunny والسماء صافية and the sky is clear الطقس أو الجو جميل اليوم الجو أو الطقس مشمس والسماء صافية كيف هي حالة الجو في بلدك الآن؟ How is the weather in your country at the moment? كيف هي حالة الطقس أو الجو في بلدك الآن؟ إنها تمطر الآن It is raining now at the moment إنها تمطر الآن كيف هي حالة الجو أو الطقس في بلدك الآن؟ إنها تمطر الآن الجو عاصف جدا اليوم It is very windy today الجو عاصف جدا اليوم قال خبير الأرصاد الجوية بأنها ستمطر اليوم The weatherman said that it will rain today قال خبير الأرصاد الجوية بأنها ستمطر اليوم الجو أو الطقس عاصف جدا اليوم قال خبير الأرصاد الجوية بأنها ستمطر اليوم قالت خبيرة الأرصاد الجوية بأنها ستثلج غدا The weather woman said that it will snow tomorrow قالت خبيرة الأرصاد الجوية بأنها ستثلج غدا هناك عاصفة في تورونتو هناك عاصفة في تورونتو There is a storm in Toronto قالت خبيرة الأرصاد الجوية بأنها ستثلج غدا هناك عاصفة في تورونتو هناك عاصفة في الرياض 
There is a storm in Riyadh. أحب فصل الصيف. I love the summer. هناك عاصفة في الرياض. أحب فصل الصيف. أكره فصل الشتاء. I dislike the winter. أكره فصل الشتاء. فصل الخريف والربيع يروقان لي. The autumn and the spring season are of my liking. فصل الخريف والربيع يروقان لي. يروقان لي means of my liking. أكره فصل الشتاء. أكره فصل الشتاء. فصل الخريف والربيع يروقان لي. أحب الجو أو الطقس في بلادي. I love the weather in my country. أحب الجو في بلادي. أحب الجو. أحب الجو في بلادك. I love the weather in your country. أحب الجو في بلادك. أحب الجو في بلادك. I love the weather in your country. So, أحب الجو في بلادك is to you say that to a man, بلادك, to a man and بلادك to a female. الجو دافئ ومشمس. The weather is warm and sunny. الجو أو الطقس دافئ ومشمس. أحب الجو في بلادك. الجو دافئ ومشمس. كيف هو الجو في الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية في فصل الشتاء؟ How is the weather in America during the winter season? كيف هو الجو في الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية في فصل الشتاء؟ الجو أو الطقس بارد. الجو بارد. الجو بارد والثلج يتساقط بكثرة. The weather is cold. And it snows a lot. الجو الطقس بارد والثلج يتساقط بكثرة. الجو ضبابي اليوم. It is foggy today. The weather is foggy today. الطقس والجو ضبابي اليوم. الجو الطقس بارد والثلج يتساقط بكثرة. الجو الطقس ضبابي اليوم. كيف هو الجو في فصل الشتاء؟ في فصل الصيف عفوا. كيف هو الجو في فصل الصيف؟ How is the weather in the summer season? كيف هو الجو في فصل الصيف؟ الجو حار ومشمس اليوم. الجو أو الطقس حار ومشمس اليوم. The weather is hot and sunny today. كيف هو الطقس أو الجو في فصل الصيف؟ الجو أو الطقس حار ومشمس اليوم. كيف هو الجو؟ أو الطقس في فصل الشتاء. How is the weather in the winter? كيف هو الجو في فصل الشتاء؟ الجو بارد ويتساقط الثلج. The weather is cold and snowy. الجو والطقس بارد ويتساقط الثلج. كيف هو الجو في فصل الشتاء؟ الجو بارد ويتساقط الثلج. كيف هو الجو والطقس في فصل الربيع؟ How is the weather in the spring? كيف هو الجو في فصل الربيع? How is the weather in the spring? الجو أو الطقس معتدل. The weather is moderate. والسماء صافية. And the sky is clear. كيف هو الجو في فصل الربيع? الجو معتدل والسماء صافية. And finally, كيف هو الجو في فصل الخريف? How is the weather in the autumn season? كيف هو الجو في فصل الخريف? الجو أو الطقس عاصف وضبابي في فصل الخريف. The weather is stormy and foggy in the autumn. Alrighty, so this marks the end of lesson 11 of our course. Um... Yes, grammatical concepts or phrases were introduced within this lesson that were not explained, 
but they will be explained inshallah in upcoming lessons. What is important though is that you, even if there's trouble understanding some of the word usages that are used or some of the words or vocabulary that's used, write it down. Write it down in your notebooks and uh, inshallah rabbil alameen in the upcoming lessons. Uh, we'll explore grammatical concepts and uh, fill in some of these um, vocabularies inshallah. As for the new vocabulary that was taught, be sure to revise it often. If you'd like to be tested on this lesson, then send me an email at admin at salafi.ca. Barakallahu feekum. Thank you for watching our new lesson and see you next time. If you enjoyed and benefited from the lesson, be sure to like the video and share it with others and subscribe to the channel. That is, if you haven't already. Thanks. See you later, alligator.